friends how are ya welcome back to my channel for another vlog this is my first time speaking out loud this morning <clears throat> and i'm realizing i have a morning voice <laughs> but i'm gonna take you along today and tomorrow and i'm really excited for today i'm genuinely so excited for today because here's what we're gonna do okay today we're gonna make it like a self-care day Tomorrow, we're gonna make it like a get the final things that are really annoying me about the apartment in order. Well, you know, what we can. So today, you know how it's like a cliche thing that whenever you go through a breakup of any sort, you get your hair done, you have fresh hair. We're doing that today. <laughs> I recently got my hair done in California, but the way it's growing out has really been bothering me. Normally I'm super low maintenance and I get my hair colored once to twice a year. And this has been maybe two and a half months but I'm already ready. And I just kind of want to treat myself in that way. And my really good friend, Anna, um, is actually my friend from California, lives here now and does hair here. So I'm gonna go to her to get my hair done. And we are going to have a sushi date after, which is my absolute favorite food. Max and I this morning are gonna take a nice, beautiful nature walk. And then tonight I was thinking maybe like a bubble bath or something of the sorts, just really focusing on treating myself and caring for myself today because I have not been doing that very much lately. I've kind of been in like survival chaos mode. Tomorrow, like I said, a few things. I want to start organizing some things in the apartment and then my bar stools came in for this bar. I also, I wondered when this will get here, but I ordered temporary wallpaper for underneath the bar because I, I hate that like faux wood. I think it looks very office building. Um, and so I ordered a really fun, funky, like patterned wallpaper figured why not you know it's just my space so if we want to do something funky it affects no one so that's the plan i'm gonna put on pants because i can't go out like this and max and i are going to go take a little nature walk and you know what let's cue a really calming montage let's start the vlog with that let's make today a good day for you too okay we're off We're back, gonna make some breakfast. Guess what I'm having? <laughs> the fact it's in a bag makes it look so unappetizing. It's the leftover gluten-free cornbread Southwestern stuffing that we made in the last vlog. Um, and it's my favorite thing ever. And it has so many just eggs in it, that there's actually a lot of protein in it. So I've been having it for breakfast every day since Thanksgiving. If you missed that vlog, we made it in the last vlog. So go check it out. <laughs> Did my makeup got dressed so nice to not have to do your hair i always try to like do my makeup well when i get my hair done because then afterward you like your hair even more you know what i mean um but before we go actually one thing before we go is um i just had a piano chord delivered because i left that in california and if we have time there's a song i want to try to learn on the piano but something important that i want to tell you all about before we go is i know i've been really open and honest about not being the best of taking care of myself during the last few seasons. But there's been one thing that I have actually been really good at and it's because it's really easy to do and has such a big impact on my health and that's take my probiotic, which I take seed, which is actually a daily symbiotic and I'm sure you've heard me talk about them before. I am partnering with them on this video, meaning I have a great promo code. I wanna let you guys know, and I'll have this in the description box as well, but before I talk about it, this will get you 20% off of Seeds Daily Symbiotic with code Mikel20, and I will have all of that information linked in the description box down below as well. I know we have some people that are new here, um, and if you're new here, you might not know this about me, but I actually went to school for nutrition, so that's what I have my degree in, and I get really excited slash geek out and get nerdy about things like probiotics and seed absolutely blows my mind because they're so different from any other probiotic I've personally seen before. They actually are a symbiotic, meaning they are both a prebiotic and a probiotic. The thing that makes this so cool is the prebiotic capsule really helps to protect the probiotic inside, which also the probiotic inside is a 24 strain probiotic, which is incredibly impressive. 24 different strains. I don't know if you've noticed in the past, there's a lot of probiotics that you have to refrigerate because they're heat sensitive and they will die. But Seed came up with the genius idea to protect the probiotic in this prebiotic capsule that will help protect it from heat and also just the digestive process as it goes through all of your stomach acids and it has 100% survivability as it gets delivered into your small intestine and into your colon. So 
I think it's absolutely brilliant. Also, a lot of people love seed for their packaging, which I do too. This glass container is reusable and they are not carbon neutral. They are carbon negative. I honestly did not know that that was fully possible until <laughs> working with seed, but you reuse this little glass container and then every single month they send you a refill and a pouch like this. You can put this in a compost if you have one, which I think is so stinking cool. And it also helps to protect the probiotics inside from oxidative damage or anything of the sorts. If there was one big takeaway that I really learned from studying nutrition in school, it was how much gut health really affects so many different parts of your body and there's so many systemic benefits to having a healthy gut biome and i'll share just some of the benefits of taking a probiotic and a prebiotic obviously gastrointestinal health so your whole gi system also helps with gut immune function cardiovascular health dermatological health so it helps your skin stay healthy also gut barrier integrity i don't know if y'all learned anything about leaky gut in the past but having a strong gut barrier is so important this has been one thing where it takes me 10 seconds to remember every single day to just pop one of these and um i can feel good like i did i did something for my health today <laughs> and it's an incredible product so thank you to seed for partnering with me on this video and i will have all of that information in the description box down below and i think i have time to set up my keyboard I don't have a keyboard stand or anything like that, but um, it's currently under my bed. I just want to plug it in and do something for myself in that way. It's a self-care day. We took a walk. We got ready. We took our probiotics. We're going to play some piano. We're going to go get our hair done. It's a good day. Yay. It works. Um, the reason, <laughs> the song, the one song that I wanted to really learn on the piano, Olivia Rodrigo's song, Enough For You, has just like honestly rocked me to my core. Shatters my heart and blows my mind and makes me feel less alone. And I've had it on repeat for the last week. And it's my goal to learn it on the piano. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this for the next 30 minutes. I'm excited to learn it. We are here. Um, people ask me where Anna is all the time. If you're in Austin and you're looking to get your hair done, ask for Anna at Deep Roots. There's a couple locations. This is the one on North Texas Highway, I think. I think that's where we are. <laughs> I normally just tell her to do whatever she wants, but now that I live closer to her, I'm okay with having more high maintenance hair. So it'll be fun to see what she does. Like maybe I'll go lighter. I don't know. We'll find out together right now. <laughs> I'm gonna show you before I get in the car. I'm kind of blonde. Do blondes have more fun? I don't know, maybe. I'll let you know, I love it so much. Anna, oh, Anna's so good. Look at how much more natural everything looks. And then I have like the fun bright pieces around my face. I'm officially growing my hair, not too much longer, maybe to like here. I still don't want like super long hair. I like having like a shorter look, but I wanna be able to put my hair in high ponytails without bobby pins, it's my goal because I've really missed high ponytails. But I feel so good, it's so therapeutic to get your hair done. I don't know why that's a thing, but there's definitely truth to it. Anna already left, so I'm gonna make sure she doesn't beat me too much to my apartment because we're dropping a car and we're going to Neighborhood Sushi on South Congress. So far, it's my favorite sushi place I've been able to find in Austin. Um, nothing comes close to Sugarfish in LA. I'm a Sugarfish every single day, but it is still pretty dang good and super, super cute inside. And I'm so excited for sushi. Let's go. I um, just barely got home and was in the parking garage in my car and I could hear an alarm going off and I like panicked and I ran in here and the fire alarm in here is so ear piercingly loud and Max was curled up in the corner with his tail down crying and so scared. We don't know what caused it. We were all just standing outside for like 12 minutes, but I am so shaken up about the idea if I wasn't home and like if something bad happened, how scary that must be for a dog. And I was telling my family about how nervous I am, honestly, to have 
Max because he's my whole world now. And I know I would absolutely not be okay if anything happened to him. Me not having parked just then, even if it was nothing, him having to endure, I think it was 13 minutes of that painful noise to a dog must have been so scary. That shook me up, I'm not gonna lie. My hair's cute. <laughs> I really, really, really love my hair. Um, so thank you to Anna. My heart is still going so fast, just the thought of that. <sighs> Good morning, it's the next day. What did I do this morning? I had a pretty productive morning. Um, got some work done outside, took Max on a walk, then came back, did a face mask, cause I didn't do that last night and I still wanted to do one. Uh, fed Max, picked up the house, took a shower, got ready, and here we are. And I want to finally get on building some things like those bar stools, counter stools. I learned there's a difference between bar stools and counter stools, and I really hope I did that right and got the right height, but we'll find out. Also, who made those so expensive? I don't know. I just bought the cheapest ones I could find, which were from Target, and I have a feeling I'm gonna regret it because <laughs> it'd probably be more assembly required, but we will find out. That is first action of business. And then I have a list of things we could choose from to be productive today, depending on what sounds the most fun. So let's get started. Okay, so we have three of these boxes. Let's open it and see how many pieces are inside. Okay. I see a cushion. Oh, wow. This fabric is really actually nice. I feel like I was just looking on like Google shopping and a lot of the counter stools that I liked were seriously $500 a stool. So obviously I said, no way. Um, this is 80. So I thought, this was gonna look really cheap. It looks pretty nice, right? It's kind of like a flaxy linen. I think that this will not be the easiest. 16 bolts, screws, whatever you wanna call these. What's 16 times three? It's been a long time since I've taken a math class. That's a lot. interrupt my bar stool building with a update and a quick mail time and also I did something wrong I used four long screws somewhere and now I accidentally have four short screws left for the back that won't go in so I need to unscrew my screws and see where I accidentally use the long ones to retrieve them for the back and then rebuild it so um intermission <laughs> I love living near friends and family every day I see someone and I did not get to do that in California and my good friend Anna, who did my hair yesterday, she just texted me, what are you doing right now? And I said, building bar stools. And she said, want help? And I said, yeah, because one of her appointments canceled on her today. And I am just going to cry thinking about that. <laughs> We're probably going to build bar stools and maybe go get coffee. And so I wanted to do a mail time. I just love watching these. <laughs> Remember in the last vlog, I think the Thanksgiving one when I was at home, I started my period and I um, used my mom's heating pad and I was tethered to a wall. I got a cordless heating pad. Wow. There's little hand pockets too so you can keep your hands warm if you want. This is gonna be awesome. Brother-in-law Mark, if you are watching this, click off right now because I'm gonna share with them what I got for you for Christmas, okay? Click off, three, two, one. Are you gone? He's really into golf and I found this website um, I'll link it down below that you can buy a gift card and they partner with 5,000 different golf courses and pro shops so he can either choose to go golfing or choose to get golf supplies and I typed in his zip code and there was like 10 options within 20 miles. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! It comes with like a little golf ball and like the little circle pad for your golf ball. That's so cute. Um, there's a cute, cute little home store called Poco Loco and the owner is an online friend and subscriber. They're seriously so cute. And she offered to send me hand towels for my bathroom for the hook that sweet dad helped us hang. It's a little hand holding a flower. I like it. <laughs> it says 
hey Mikkel, we wanted to send you a little housewarming gift to help settle into your new space. We're cheering on you and Max from Canada. From Canada? From Canada. So cute. Oh my gosh. There's four? What the heck? Oh, they sent bath and beach towels too. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute. Maybe we should hang these in the bathroom before Anna gets here also. One matching hand towel for each bath towel. I love it. <laughs> and last but not least, okay. So as a gift a while ago, my mom got me a Latisse prescription and my eyelashes grew like crazy. And I ran out mm, a few weeks ago and I was like, I'm just gonna go back to Grande Lash MD because my, because Latisse is a lot pricier, maybe like 40 bucks more than Grande Lash. And so I went back to Grande Lash and my eyelashes are like so sporadic. It was crazy how fast it changed from them being like long and even to like this eye. I have long on either side and the middle all of a sudden is like half the length. It's very odd. So Black Friday, <laughs> there was a little sale going on and I got a new Latisse prescription. My only beef is I don't like how they have reuse or not reusable, single use little brushes. You're supposed to use these brushes once and then throw them away but there is more prescription than there are brushes and that also just feels very, very wasteful. So I've been saving them and washing them. I don't know, but there's probably a reason why you're not supposed to reuse them, but. What are you but. doing in here, mom? Yay, that's the hall. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go put these in the bathroom. It's gonna be so cute. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, he does, he stopped barking. <laughs> is this too extra? <laughs> I'm like trying to display it like a store. I, they're just so pretty, I need to put one on my hook that dad hung. Um, okay, I'm gonna clean up and then Anna's gonna be here and we will hopefully finish the bar stools after I fix whatever mistake I made. I have three bar stools and I'm so excited about it. I will say I'm impressed with the quality. I feel like the foam is thicker than my last ones. My last bar stools were also cheap. I think I spent maybe a hundred bucks, 130 a piece, which is not cheap, but in comparison to bar stools, I guess it is. Um, so these are even cheaper, but I think feel nicer. Now I have three bar stools, I'm so excited. And Anna just left. We built these, we got coffee, and then we walked to lunch and it was so lovely and nice. I love living here. I really do, mostly just because of the people. I love the people. I said we were gonna pick one more thing from my list that was productive today to do, um, you know, besides the computer stuff I'm gonna do, because no one wants to watch me do that. And something that's fun, that's kind of productive, is go find a Trader Joe's near me. There's several in Austin. There's one downtown, which the parking there, I've only been there once, is kind of stressful. So I wanna try going to one more out of town. Honestly, all I really need is, um, oh shoot, what is that oil called? Marula oil. Trader Joe's has a dupe of the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil, which they sell for $72, and Trader Joe's is like $3.99, $4.99, $5.99. Um, and I'm out of that, and then I would just love to get flowers for this home. Flowers make me really, really happy, and I would love one up here, one in my bathroom, maybe one in my bedroom, and they have the cheapest flowers. Um, and then any pantry staples that I still need, I'll just probably walk down the aisles and see what they have. So you wanna do a Trader Joe's run with me to uh, say we did one more thing today, and feel good about ourselves and productive? Yeah? Okay. We are back. That Trader Joe's was so good. If you're in the Austin area, it's on Bee Cave, I think. It was great. It was huge. Everyone was so nice. I got these flowers. Eucalyptus. I think I'm gonna use this on the pot on my um, media console. I'll show you. Lilies are my new favorite because they last so long and the fact that there's normally only three stems but lots of blooms the blooms are like naturally kind of whimsical and layered with no effort so i love these this was the most open i could find but that means they'll last a really long time toilet paper i always regret buying toilet paper um from places that don't specialize in toilet paper like trader joe's as opposed to like i don't know charmin or angel soft or whatever but um save me a trip two marula oils this is what they look like in case you're at a trader joe's i just got these for max he's really enjoying it on the ground um it's highly digestible minty chew bones with alfalfa parsley fennel dill and peppermint because his breath stinks 
bad, really bad. How's your breath? Is your breath a little better? Wow. He seems to really enjoy it, so I would say that's a good review. I was thinking this for inside of this guy, just like to temporarily, oh wait, that's so cute. Oh, it needed height. So much better. It's sunshine o'clock in here, but I thought this orchid would be great for my desk. Hopefully something that will stay alive for a long time. Two out of four done. Thought these would make good bathroom flowers. Kind of want to like space them out more. Maybe add some greenery to it. Cause that's a dense, it's a dense bunch. They almost look faux. <laughs> And then the lilies up here. Uh, I love lilies. I can't wait for them to open. Like, they just look luxurious, you know? I wanted to say thank y'all for being here. Um, spending the last couple days with me. The highs, the lows, the everything in between, the self-care, the um, accomplishing tasks. I honestly have just been loving vlogging lately because spending time with y'all has made me feel so much less lonely and so much more motivated. So. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for supporting me and for being here and just for being in an amazing community. And thank you again to Seed for sponsoring this video. I'll have my promo code and my link and all the good information in the description box down below. Also a quick little thing I wanna mention is my vlogs lately, I've been trying to include timestamps because some people are here for only some parts and not others, vice versa. Hopefully that'll make it easy for you guys to have the watching experience you like. And I've also been trying to be really good about linking anything and everything I can possibly think of. So all of that will be in the description. I love y'all so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you in another vlog very soon. Maybe even tomorrow for me. Okay, next night I'm gonna play now. Cause he smells good. <laughs> Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all.